right, so this um, this problem, we have a, I um, uh, just want you to kind of be familiar with some of the concepts related to the statement of cash flows. Um, and we don't have enough information here to do a, do a statement of cash flows, but uh, sometimes students struggle with the, um, how the changes in current assets and current liabilities are displayed um, for the statement of cash flows using the indirect method. So we're talking about operating activities, and operating activities is the only section where, um, you know, direct method or indirect method matter, right? The the operating section can be either direct or indirect. That's the only one. Even though we call the statement, of, we may say, let's do it with the indirect method. Uh, investing and financing activities are always done with the direct method. So um, the indirect method is really just uh, it's just a way to differentiate the first operating activity section. So um, in this case, uh, let's go through and look and see how would these items uh, change. So um, what we're looking for are changes in current assets and current liabilities because those add or subtract um, from net income in the operating activity section. So accounts receivable it went from 100,000 to 110. So that change is 10,000. And it's an increase. So we subtract increases in current assets. So on the statement of cash flows, we would subtract 10,000 for this increase in accounts receivable. Uh, cost of goods sold, you know, we don't care about that. So, um, accounts payable. Accounts payable, the change is an $8,000 increase. Current liabilities are, um, increases in current liabilities are additions to the statement of cash flows. Inventory is a, um, uh, is a current asset, and in this case, the change is a $19,000 decrease. So decreases in current assets are added back in the statement of cash flows. Salaries payable, a liability, it increased. And so we add increases in current liabilities. And the only thing we don't have here is um, if we'd had a current liability decrease. If we'd had a current liability decrease, then we would have, you know, subtracted that amount. Okay, so in this case, um, the correct answer is uh, what, what would happen with um, operating activities? Remember, we would start with net income. So we'd start with our net income and then make these adjustments. And so the increase of 10,000 would be subtracted from net income. The increase of 10,000 is subtracted from net income.